Now, the third point in continuing on with this video series is woman's hormones. Is it that time of the month? And what happens when it's that time of the month? You're going to have some type of fluid retention. If it's coming up, you're naturally going to have an increased amount of fluid. And so if your 30 day mark happens in and around when your you know, visitor shows up, then you're naturally going to be up weight. And so when you jump on that scale, day one might have not been period time, but day 30 might have been or might have been close to it. And as such, the weight is going to change. And so when you're putting it all into a factor, we have to understand that that could be playing a point of your weight gain or weight loss success. What about the time of day, your fluid intake? What about your food intake? Is it the exact same? So the first question I would ask you is, are you weighing yourself in the morning? Or are you consistently weighing yourself at noon? Or are you consistently weighing yourself at night? The time cannot change. Reason why is that, let's say you weigh first thing in the morning. Well, naturally you're gonna be the lightest first thing in the morning if your food intake the night before hasn't changed, but that's a second point. So if you get up first thing in the morning, what have we been doing? We've been intermittent fasting. And so at this point, we haven't been adding any more fluids or food into our body. And so what happens is we're gonna be the lightest first thing in the morning. Doesn't necessarily mean that you have to weigh in first thing in the morning, but if you wanna see an immediate change of weight loss or weight gain success, then I would tell you to weigh yourself at night after you've eaten all your food, after you drink three liters of water, and maybe after you've done a workout, then you weigh yourself first thing in the morning, there's gonna be a change. And so if you wanna be happy, just based on the scale alone, then weigh yourself at night, the next day weigh yourself in the morning, and you're gonna be happy. <laughs> so the time of day does make a huge difference. The second is fluid intake, right? Let's say on a weekday, you consume more fluids during the weekday than you do on the weekend. And it's simple. During the weekday, you work, and so you could be having two, maybe even three cups of coffee. But you're in a belly burn, and so naturally your coach is telling you to drink two to three liters of water. So not only now are you drinking your three cups of coffee because you're trying to stay awake at work, but you're also drinking your two to three cups of, or liters of water because your belly burn coach is telling you, but you're also having your protein shakes and you're also having your EAAs. So even just on the weekend, if you went from three cups a day, like large massive cups, to just one cup a day, then that's you know over 60% of a fluid decrease just from the coffee alone. And so your fluid intake, is it being the same? And is it the same from day one as it was in day 30? And these are the things that you're literally gonna to have to track if you're going to obsess over the scale. Now, when it comes to food intake, in a previous video, we talked about how carbohydrates, they absorb a lot of water. But did you know, and if you go back to one of my previous, previous videos, and you look up Fit Club Winnipeg fiber, you will see that fiber actually doubles the amount of water retention as a regular carbohydrate. It actually takes eight grams of water to digest one gram of fiber versus four grams of water to one gram of carb, that's double. So if you had a night where, and it's not impossible to do, like you had some fiber gummies, which is fiber infused, you had some Krizda chocolate chips, which has fiber in it, you had a bowl of that Catalana or Catalina cereal, which is like super high in fiber, and then you also had the fiber infused bread, the carbonite bread. And so you're thinking, well, I'm eating all healthy, but yet if we track that into my fitness pal, that one day you could have consumed 40 to 50 grams of fiber, which might have been different than the day prior because the day prior you could have just been eating normally, but then you went grocery shopping on a Sunday and you found all these fiber infused keto, high protein cereals and breads and all that good stuff. And then Monday you want to try them all. So you go from literally 10, maybe 15 grams of fiber. That's on average what I see when I'm coaching people in the belly burn. And now you're shooting up to 40 to 50. Remember all of that water that is required. So naturally on Monday, you're gonna be more thirsty. Fluid intake is up. And you're naturally going to be retaining more of that water. So you're gonna hold it. So even just by one day of increasing your fiber or increasing the amount of carbohydrates that you're consuming, you're going to increase how much you weigh 
And so when you jump on the scale, you might be unhappy. We all know that your monthly visitor can and will influence the amount of water that you're retaining. And anytime that you're putting on more water into your body, it's going to naturally increase the amount that you weigh. So we gotta make sure that if we have a weigh-in day and if it's in and around that time of the month that we gotta understand that the scale is not gonna be in our favor unless we've lost more throughout the month than we would gain by having that time of the month. And speaking of the time, we also need to understand that the time of day that you weigh in needs to be the same. But even if you weigh in first thing in the morning, that can be influenced by the fluid intakes that you've had the night before, but also the food intake that you had the night before. But if we're weighing at night, and let's say today was your refeed day, or let's say that you just randomly had some cheat day, you had a donut at work, you added extra cream to your coffee, and you had a big muffin and pizza and blah, 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 and then you go and weigh yourself in, and you've increased the amount of food that you've intake, increased the amount of carbohydrates that you've intake, you probably drank all your water because you know, you're really good with your water now. And so all these things are going to add up if you weigh in at night. And so the scale is going to be completely off. So hormones will make a difference in the scale. Time of day that you actually weigh in, it needs to be consistent because that's gonna make a difference in what you weigh. Your fluid intake for the day, also the night before, influence. And the food intake, so the calories that you consume if they are different than day to day, then that can and will influence your weigh-in.